Hello, afternoon everyone, how are we all? I uh, hope you're all doing alright today, because uh, I'm doing just fine. So, welcome to the uh, welcome to the start of a new week. Um, that's where we're at. <laughs> I guess it's the start of a new week. I, always, I don't know, I can't remember when I was, always thought the start of the week was, really. Um, but anyway, it's beside the point. Friday night at the bar was uh, uh, all good, I think. How was it? I can't really remember it. It's kind of all the shifts merge into one these days, as far as I can tell. I thought that was my mum going past it. Um, yeah, I, as far as I remember, it was all fine, um, as it was last night as well. And of course, yesterday as well, during the day, started back at my teaching, and um, it's good to be back. You know, it's a whole different vibe now. It all feels good. Um, so yeah, that all went well. That was all good fun. Um, I'm quite tired now though, but that's okay, because hopefully that won't last long. Tonight, we are not working like we normally do on a Sunday. Tonight, me and a couple of other guys from the bar, we're, uh, we're heading up to town. We're going up to London, um, to this, ah, uh, is it Roadhouse or Road Mender? Roadhouse, I think is the name of this bar that we're going to. It's in Covent Garden. Um, and I can't remember I can't remember which one it is because one of them's in Covent Garden, the other one's in Northampton. I think it's Road Mender in Northampton. Roadhouse in Covent Garden. Uh, and that's where we're going because uh, firstly just for kind of night out, some drinks and stuff like that. But also they do um, flaring competitions there. They get some really good flare bartenders in. Flaring is uh, like what you see the bartenders doing where they're juggling bottles and things like that around. Um, so we're going to go up, have drinks and watch that go on and should be a really good night. Um, I'll try and catch some of it for you. But that's where we're going, that's why I've kind of dressed up. And why we're outside on a pleasant Sunday afternoon. Uh, I wouldn't, shouldn't really be wearing a coat, it is actually quite nice out, but I don't want to carry it. <laughs> That's the, it's the age-old problem. Um, but yeah, no, that's, it's, uh, it's going to be fun, hopefully. It'll be a good night. And uh, I'll let you know how things, how things went tomorrow, I, I would assume. Um, and of course, it's, a, uh, it's an important week, Tuesday. Oh no, sorry. Uh, yes, so let's start with the Monday. Obviously we're doing this tonight. Monday, staff meeting in the evening at the bar, the second staff meeting at the, we're going to be doing that Monday evening. Tuesday I have my driving test during the day and uh, then we have another meeting Tuesday evening. And then Wednesday I'll start back at uni, back to our Wednesday, Thursday, Friday routine. But that's going to be uh, rather hectic now because it's, uh, it's approaching exam weeks and stuff. So hours are going to be longer, days are going to be busier. Uh, I've, I've gotten quite a lot of videos uh, recorded ahead um, into May. In fact, I think I've got most of, if not all of, uh, the videos for Tomb Raider for May, as well as VVVVVVVV. So, I think we should be alright. Um, we shall see. Everything else doesn't really take too long to record and is all kind of easy and sorted. Or getting there. So that's where we're at. I shall see you when I see you.
It is um, Monday morning, um, <coughs> basically, uh, obviously last night we was, uh, me and some people from the bar we was out and um, sort of watching all that flowing going on, we'll get onto that in a minute, but it's, uh, it is now Monday morning. <laughs> Uh, it's um, about half four in the morning and I am on the walk home uh, on the walk home from from London <laughs> um, but it's alright, it's a nice night slash morning at least and um, what I'm finding quite interesting is just sort of 
you've seen things how you wouldn't normally see them, kind of like businesses and stuff. They're getting all their deliveries brought in, things like that. Or like, well, plus a couple of news agents, and they're taking all the newspapers in, and things like that. Just sort of things that you don't normally get to see. You know, you're going to your news agent, and the, your papers are there. It's just quite cool. Um, but anyway, yeah, how was it? Here, yeah, I mean, you you will have seen some of the some of the stuff those guys were doing and it's amazing <laughs> um, you know I yeah, it's the sort of thing I really wish that I could do but I have no idea about how to even begin to learn how to do it you know there's, there doesn't seem to be a point to start at <laughs> um, but, you know, like I say, really amazing, really great night out, lots of fun, uh, lots of laughs, lots of drinks, and just really good. Um, but now I'm going to get in, in about 40 minutes. So, <laughs> looking at nearer to half five, I'll be getting in, and I'm going to see if I can go to bed. <laughs> if I can't, then... Well, I don't know. I, I'll have to have a nap during the day. Um, I mean, obviously, we've got the meeting Monday, Monday evening tonight. That's weird. Um, work it out. The uh, the burglary alarm in W. H. Smith there is. Just keeps going off. Wonder why that is. <laughs> oh well. Um, yeah, that'll that'll be it. I'll probably see you later on today. <laughs> see you then. Right, so now that that <laughs> is done with, uh, welcome officially to Monday, I suppose. Well, no, this is part. This is all part of Monday. Um, but the, the difference is, it's daytime now. Well, I don't even know if that's technically a difference because it was still daytime when I recorded that last clip. Um, well, anyway, how are we all? It's a really nice afternoon now today, and. Oh yeah, so I, I, I got in uh, and into bed at around about five o'clock, like I said I would, and that should not be there. It's weird how I only really just noticed that as I was coming up to it. Um, so yeah, like I said I would, I got in at about five. I was in bed, sort of similar time. Um, and then I woke up again at about half past ten this morning. So I got about five hours sleep, but I feel like awake and energised, which is interesting because I've seen various theories sort of posted around and stuff as well. But actually, the way humans are supposed to sleep is they're supposed to like sleep for four hours, and then have like two hours of being awake, and then another four hours and something like that. something like that. And I don't know, maybe there's uh, some sort of truth to that. Um, because I, I feel great, and I have felt great all day. I didn't feel as tired as I thought I would. So, you know, that's, that's, all, that's all good and stuff. I'm going to put you away because there's people approaching, and it's a very thin path. So I'll carry on in a moment. Uh, there we go. <laughs> so, yeah, I've, it's felt, felt good all day. Um, I was playing some drums earlier, and I uh, was doing really well. had a really good practice today, actually. I felt, felt really good playing. Felt, it felt pretty worn out afterwards, which is good. You know, I think it's been a while since I've played drums and sort of worn myself out. Uh, I'm starting to break into a sweat now as well, which is good. You know, shows we're working and stuff. Also shows that summer's coming on, because that's what normally happens. When, as soon as summer hits, I just kind of start drenching myself. Um, and that's been pretty much it. I was looking back at some of the footage from last night of... Uh, of, uh, of the flaring and so impressive, so amazing. I, I think it's amazing to just sit there and watch really 
fascinating, really cool. Oh, I wish I could do that. <laughs> all that's going to happen now, and it has been happening for a while actually, but all that's going to happen now is I'm just going to end up walking around, throwing things like in the air and catching them again. That's all it's going to be. What I might do at, uh, at Conti's on Saturdays is just have like two paper cups and a bottle and just <laughs> just practice. I don't know. That's the thing. Yeah, I, I, I'm especially guilty for it. When I see something really cool, I kind of think to myself, right, I want to emulate that. I want to be able to do that. And last night was really cool. And I want to be able to do that. And I want to be able to emulate that. So there's a lot of work to do. I think one of the guys said he'd been practicing for about five years. So there's a long way to go. <laughs> um, but that was, uh, that was yesterday and this morning. What are we doing now? I'm on my way to my uh, work meeting. So it's going to be good. You know, the weather's good should be finished at around nine so I'm gonna head home after that and uh, we're trying the new menus we've got new food menus in and we've been set the job of <sighs> tasting everything on the menu someone has to do it and it's gonna be us everything on the menu is getting cooked and we're gonna taste it all see how everything is and go from there so it should be an interesting uh, evening. I have deliberately tried to save some room so that uh, you know I don't I don't fill up basically. But having said that, I did have a big lunch, and as soon as I cooked it, I went, damn! <laughs> I realised actually I kind of need that stomach room. Never mind, I'm sure we'll be fine. Um, but I think that's pretty much it, really. I'll uh, let you know how how everything went a little bit later on. Um, should be good. Got some new music as well, so I'm just gonna walk into work listening to music, <laughs> as, as is what I normally do. Hi everyone, how are y'all doing? Today is Tuesday the 29th of April. Hope everyone's all right. We had our menu tasting yesterday at work, which was, well, I quite enjoyed it. Quite a lot of good food there. Some stuff I wasn't expecting. Thai green curry in a pub. Seems a bit misplaced, but it was so nice. It was really good. Um, so yeah, there was plenty of stuff hanging around, and uh, then we hung around afterwards to, to sort of chat and things like that. It was a really good night. Um, enjoyed it. Enjoyed eating all of the food. And we got another one tonight where we're doing desserts and skillets, which are sizzling hot plates of food, basically. Which... I think it's a disaster waiting to happen, but it's also not a bad idea. It's a ghost in the kitchen. So, yeah, that's what we've got going on later tonight. I think Jay is on the way round. Um, he said he could do with getting out, and so can I, I suppose, because this morning I had my practical driving test and I didn't pass, as I'm sure you can gather. Um, yeah, didn't didn't do well. No, I I think I did all right. Really, you're allowed 15 minor faults and no serious or danger ones. I got six minors, which I guess is all right. You know, that's less than half. Um, but then it was something like three serious and one dangerous, so I was never going to pass. And it's uh, it was silly silly little things that I, I should know better about, really. Which is why I'm quite disappointed. Um, because it's, it was all, it was all things that I, I knew and it was just silly, silly little mistakes, really. But, you know, taking positives from it, you know, it, it wasn't a disaster. I wasn't terrible. It's good to get that sort of experience so you know what it's going to be like for next time. Statistically, if you pass your second time, you're a bit of a better driver. So they say. Um, it's just really disappointing, is all. Because I, I know I could have done better. But I didn't. So, that's a, that's a shame. Um, 
the test it's uh, the test was wasn't too bad well, I'll, I'll explain the process to you so that so that you know for when it gets around to your turn if it gets around to your turn you might have already done it um, so they get you to read the number plate um, just a sight test see how good your eyes are um, and it's a, it's a considerable distance as well it's quite a big distance um, I'm assuming if you have bad eyesight they will, they make kind of allowances and stuff like that um, fortunately I've got quite good eyesight believe it or not uh, so there was that and then they ask you two show me tell me questions one of them's generally a show me and one of them's generally a tell me so for me it was uh, show me where the engine coolant tank is under the bonnet so popped the bonnet open and showed her where it was um, and then uh, we got in the car and she said can you uh, show me how you would test that the horn works and I'm fairly certain every single person who has ever seen a car will be able to work out how to test the horn if you don't know uh, and then we, we set off and you have uh, we ha I had about 10 minutes I think it was of independent driving which is basically where we was driving around and she said right you're going to take a left at the end of this road and then follow signs to somewhere or other and just follow those signs until traffic signs direct you otherwise or until I say so so we did that um, and then there's uh, it's about half an hour of them then going right left at the end of this road okay now I want you to turn right down this road and they're giving you the instructions in real time um, and generally in that section as well it includes your manoeuvre which mine was reversing around a corner which was one of the ones I didn't want <laughs> um, and also some hill starts so it wasn't too bad sometimes it'll include an emergency stop my one didn't uh, but then we got back and she gave me my feedback and it was like I say it was all silly things that I should know better about which is why I'm so disappointed but it's not been a negative thing even though I feel pretty bad at the moment it's on the whole it's a positive thing I'm telling myself. No, it is. You know, I, I got stuff out of it. You know, I, I know what I need to do. And I know what exactly what the test is going to be like for next time I do it. And, you know, she even said, you know, maybe it was just a bit too early. And, you know, just a bit more practice and you'll be there. So, it's, it's not too bad. I feel bad, but it's positive. I am ambivalent I guess that's the word isn't it that is the word ambivalent feeling two opposite emotions at the same time that is ambivalent yeah that's the end of the staff meeting to try the new menus and oh <laughs> some of the stuff is really delicious um, all of the desserts that we tried I could eat the whole damn day really nice <laughs> um, we also have uh, sizzling skillet plates as well, which is like the hot plates and you bring meat out and stuff and it's sizzling and things like that. So we had a bit of training on how to use those. Again, delicious, which is going to be awesome. So I've just been running for a little bit, so I might be a bit out of breath. Um, so the meeting was from about six till half eight. Um, and then we uh, just sort of hung around for a couple of drinks afterwards. Um, it's now 10 to 4 in the morning. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And um, I'm, not, I'm not that drunk, really. I think I had four or five Jack and Cokes, two tequilas. Uh, one and a half shots of uh, this passion fruit liqueur um, 
and a strawberry and lime copperberg and a little bit of a mixed fruit copperberg. That's the nuts! Strawberry and lime copperberg is delicious! Why did no one tell me? It's so nice! The mixed fruit was alright as well, but oh, mmm! Strawberry and lime? Mmm, mmm! Could have that again. I probably would. It's really nice. For the second day in a row, the birds are tweeting and it is super early in the morning. <laughs> is it second day in a row? No, no it's not. Today's Tuesday. Is it second day in a row? No. No, sorry, my mistake. But um, no. Yeah. Is it? Let me think. So, Sunday was at Roadhouse. I get back at 5am Monday morning. Um, then it was a staff meeting Monday morning, had a few drinks, got home at a sensible time. Right, okay, that's where we're at. <coughs> and then Tuesday night we had the other staff meeting and it's now Wednesday morning. That's where we're at. Um, of course, problem is, I'll start uni again tomorrow. <laughs> Um, which ought to be interesting. So, excuse me, it'll be good to get back and uh, into doing things. But um, hopefully, I'm a bit more sound of mind. <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> um, tomorrow. Not that I'm not sound of mind anyway, it's just uh, if I'm hanging lights tomorrow. They're kind of expensive, even more so if you drop them on a student's head. It's quite bad. <laughs> um, on the whole though, a really, really great night. Uh, had a great, yeah, it was a great time. Enjoyed being out with everyone. Um, tried, like, tried things that I haven't tried before, you know, both food-wise and... That's the thing. Like with doing this this food tasting stuff, I'm kind of like not forced, but uh, I guess I feel obliged to you know make sure I taste everything, which means that um, I'm starting to like cheese, cooked cheese. Um, you know, normally I'd have it on the pizza, that'd be fine for me, but that would kind of be it. But now you know I could have like melted cheese on pretty much anything it's come on actually, you know, nachos and burgers and stuff like that, which is quite cool. Um, obviously the Copperberg tonight, I tried two different types of whiskey, we got some new whiskies coming in, as I think I've mentioned before, next month. Um, and I tried the Hibiki, which is a Japanese whiskey, quite nice. Um, I could have a glass or two of that. Um, it's, uh, it warms you. You can feel it warming you up as it goes down. It's quite nice, but um, it'll take a bit of getting used to, I suppose. And the other one I tried was, uh, oh, I can't remember what it's called, but uh, Peat Monster is uh, basically the nickname we're giving, in, giving to it. And it's, it tastes very earthy. And I, I hate myself for describing drinks like this because normally I find it really weird. But it tastes like kind of earthy and like you smell it and taste it and you can get a sense of kind of like you know campfire burnt wood that sort of thing and when i put it in my mouth it kind of like initially it felt really bad you know as soon as it hit my tongue it felt like it had evaporated but on the whole, the taste wasn't too bad. It had a kind of nice aftertaste on it. So it was quite good. Um, which is awesome. That's kind of got me set for next month. Um, I guess this is technically the Wednesday, the 30th, I believe. Yeah, the 30th. Um, it was, it was a good night, I kind of needed it, I needed, first of all, a night out, secondly, like I said earlier, I wasn't feeling too great about failing my test, um, even though, you know, like I've said, even though it was positive, feel or felt really 
bad <laughs> about it. Um, so I probably drank more than more than I should have tonight. But <laughs> it was either going to be drinks of celebration or drinks of commiseration. Um, this instance, commiseration. But what are you going to do? Can we take it? <sighs> Just would have been nice to do it first time. <laughs> um, but anyway, I will. Uh, I'll see you. I guess in a few hours. <laughs> God, how heartbreaking! I'll see you in a few hours for. Um, the next part, I guess. Bye bye. Just as a side note, you seeing how foggy it is up here? It's damn foggy. Look at it, it's like the mist or something, which is a very bad film. Don't ever watch the mist, it's really bad. To the point where the last time I watched it, me and the people I was watching it with, we started trying to point out continuity errors and things that we saw. It's really not good. For example, the, the like there was in the supermarket, and under the vegetables aisle, they had loads of wine. That's not good. There's normally houses there. Just mist now everywhere. It's not good. The Happening was another horrible film. Uh, again, you know, we went to watch it at the cinema on Halloween. You know, scary film on Halloween. <sighs> Rubbish. <laughs> like, we were sat in the cinema and you know how in films they hold the boom mic just out of frame so they can pick up the sound? Well, and guess what popped into view quite obviously and for quite a long time <laughs> the boom mic you know just like in there not sure if that's done it but you know just kind of there and there it goes <laughs> not good retake it for goodness sake it wasn't even subtle <laughs> it's really obvious and you know, there we were, bored with the film, that we noticed such things. I think there was also an instance where we could see the crew in a glass-fronted cabinet. That wasn't good. Again, look at all that up there. It's just pure fog. Everywhere. Everywhere, you know. Like, I can normally see my house from here. Not tonight. I can't even, like... Obviously you've got these crossing bollards just here and in the distance, I don't know if you can see it there's a very faint glow which is the next set of crossing bollards <sighs> It's so foggy, it's like really eerie but really cool at the same time I love it, it's great Let me position you a bit It's awesome I really like it Yet another weather I'm a fan of. Rain, <laughs> fog. Noticing a bit of a pattern. Like I'm hoping that a car comes down just so we can see it like emerging from the mist. Normally I'd kind of cross the road and walk around in the road for a bit, but I don't want to because of how, how foggy it is. It's so hard to tell if something's coming. I mean, there's something coming from behind me now. Let's, let's, let's just like, we'll film forwards, right? There's the car, we'll film forwards until, and see when it disappears. So if I just wait a bit so it doesn't look like I'm filming the car. Okay. So there you go, you can see the lights and the fog light and, oh, there it goes. Gone. But, uh, just can't see a thing. It's incredible. Like it was such a nice day as well, and it's just disappeared. It's just—it's funny how the weather just kind of turns. Really, really odd, but really awesome. Just thought I'd share that with you, just because I love it. I think it's amazing. I love the fog. I love these kind of lighting effects and stuff. 
and I came back that way. There's a lorry that just drove past. Okay, I'm gonna brave crossing the road. <sighs> awesome. That's all. So, I, uh, I don't feel as good this morning as I did the other morning. You remember um, when I said, oh, I only had like four hours sleep and felt really good. Or whatever it was. Was it five hours or something? Uh, wasn't so good this morning. I don't. I didn't get as much. I think I only got about three hours. And um, yeah, it was. <laughs> God, you could see that coming before you could. Yeah, you knew it was there. Um, yeah, I didn't get as much sleep, so I kind of felt a bit groggy uh, this morning. And also, I could. I think I drank a lot more and a lot quicker last night than I did uh, at Roadhouse. Um, but never mind. Had a good night. I, I, I enjoyed myself. And now we're heading off to uni, which we haven't done for three weeks. It feels like ages. But I'm gonna go in, see what's what. Get some dates sorted out. It's gonna be a busy few weeks with exam week and stuff. Get some dates sorted out so I know where I am, what I'm doing at what time. And uh, just, just see what the day brings. So I'll see you a bit later. Morning all, it's Friday the 2nd of May, I think it's the 2nd. And um, just kind of making this uh, this final bit to sort of touch base with you, really. Um, as it emerges next week and the week after, we're gonna be very hectic, as I think I mentioned before anyway. But um, I uh, found out my hours and basically it's nine till seven pretty much every day next week and the week after is not too bad but um like, the, the hours are a bit less but it's uh still pretty manic so i apologize in advance if uh, a the vlogs are a bit short and b if there are uh let's play videos missing because i'm fully expecting there to be some so that's going to be an issue i i've recorded quite a few uh, i'm a few ahead um, but the there just isn't time for me to sit down and make more videos at the moment so uh, your patience and appreciation is understanding no your, your patience and understanding is appreciated is what I meant um, it's yeah it will hopefully be alright once uh, uh, after two weeks it should kind of even itself out and everything should be alright but it will just take a little bit of a little bit of time, maybe a little bit, a little, a little bit, of, a little bit of planning on my part, but it'll, it'll sort out. Okay, so I'll see you in the uh, in the next vlog. I'll still try and make time to vlog a little bit every day, just to let you know how things, excuse me, how things are going. But um, yeah, I'll see you then. Bye bye.